Good evening, dear friends. Once again, we want to brief you about the stand of the government and the cabinet decision which was held yesterday. The new SOP have come out, you know, but over and above, the government had set up a high power committee that is headed by Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Deputy Chief Minister. Honorable Chief Minister as Chairman, Honorable Deputy Chief, Chief Minister as a Co-Chairman, Honorable Minister Health and Family Welfare, Minister as a Member, Honorable Minister Ranin as a Member, Honorable Advisor, IT, Science and Technology, Mary as a Member, Chief Secretary is a member secretary. But to assist this high power committee, some officials also have been included. But the members, the officials, that if you want, we have a copy. But he has gone out even in the social media yesterday also. You see, as we all fight COVID-19 together, something, sometimes things doesn't go to our expectation. Sometimes something used to go wrong. But we all are trying our best to rectify the system, to bring back a better system. And for that, yesterday, in the cabinet, we had a lengthy discussion, and then we have restructured and also repositioned ourselves so that uh, we bring a, a better communication among us and that the loopholes are checked. As of today, there are 14, uh, there are 49 cases. But These 49 cases, they are, 17 are asymptomatic cases. And 14 are mild, mild cases. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one. Uh, uh, this one, yes. This is the. Uh, uh, this asymptomatic cases, this currently, it is, uh, I was referring to the uh, macro. This, in general, I will just, in general, asymptomatic cases is 33. Then, uh, mild cases are 16. And so far, we don't have even a, a this uh, moderate also. So it is in one way. It is a it is a good. Uh, so far, so good. And the total cases is forty nine as of now. The. High Power Committee 
today, the Honorable Chief Minister, who is the Chairman of the High Power Committee, held a meeting with all the Deputy Commissioners, SPs, and CLMOs through video conferencing. The Honorable Chief Minister was briefed by the Deputy Commissioners and other officers of the District Task Force on the various issues being faced by the District with regard to preparedness for combating COVID-19 and also about the quarantine facilities. The Honorable Chief Minister was accompanied by his Deputy Chief Minister, Minister Planning and Parliamentary Affairs, and Honorable Advisor, AT, and Honorable Minister, Health and Family Welfare. The Honorable Chief Minister appreciated the task force and requested to continue making efforts to improve preparedness and run up the quarantine facilities in all the districts. District wise quarantine facilities and occupancies. Total facilities as of now, 238. Total number of beds is 13,008. Total number of patients currently under facility quarantine is 3,966. Till that, about 2,695 have come by train and about 221 by buses. Another special train with about 1,600 person will be living in the this evening for the About one time assistance of at least 10,000. The first phase, that is 14 May to 22nd May 2020, number of stranded persons getting the facility is 3,932. 3, and total sanction of 3 crore 81 lakhs 90,000. Friends, as we have brought out this new SOP to strengthen and then to make the system better, we are all trying our best. The government, in the last few days, were also well, so concerned about somewhere mismanagement and communication because of that sending some of the returnees to Pinsan. We appeal to our dear Pinsan people and everyone. For which uh, Honorable Chief Minister also has expressed his regret and then even the Chief Secretary also. Now, 
in order not to repeat all this. This high power committee has been set up and now even though the power committee was dissolved, these have been integrated with the war room so that we will try to minimize the committees and if through a single window if things can be implemented that may be more smooth and for this we have President I have my friend Honorable Advisor Onomo who will be the new spokesperson to assist me and I'm glad that uh, he has accepted the responsibility and he may like to take the chance. Welcome all of you once again to this uh, press conference. This was all because uh, there is need for continued communication between the government and through your reliable and effective service, we want to communicate with the people of Nagaland. The issues uh, that we tackle every day in our challenge and our fight uh, against the COVID-19, we feel that uh, and we recognize and acknowledge the importance of uh, our media fraternity. You have been giving human service to the state of Nagaland and to the people of our state in ensuring that proper information is disseminated, in ensuring that communication, in spite of uh, the challenges that we face, have uh, been reached to the citizens. And I also would like to reiterate that we will continue this communication from uh, henceforth. Uh, the government is uh, seriously implementing all the plans that we have to tackle this as one. As our Chief Minister has said, this is Team Nagaland and therefore I would like to, while welcoming you, appeal to all of you to cooperate with us and to work with us that, so that together we may confront this challenge and continue to ensure that the right messages, important uh, issues are highlighted through your platforms to the citizens of Nagaland. Having said that, uh, I also take this opportunity to inform you that in our interaction, which may not be daily, uh, but uh, with uh, high frequency, and uh, and definitely uh, we will ensure that uh, we don't fail in informing all of you uh, when we have this press conference. Uh, we will also have officers from the war room who are assisting us and officers from uh, various departments who are responsible for uh, ensuring that the right services reach the people so that we have uh, your cooperation and help in reaching out to the people with the activities we do and also with the kind of work that we are doing. Uh, while our uh, minister has already highlighted that today we had uh, the first video conferencing of the high powered community with all the DCs SPs and the chief medical officers of all the districts in Nagaland. So this is important that we start with assessing and taking the report from the ground in order to ensure that our functioning is properly managed. Uh, in the conversation, one important uh, highlight of the teleconference, I mean video conference was that all the DCs and SPs were able, able to uh, communicate with the high power community, the issues they face, the challenges they face, and the work they are doing. So I would like to comment on the effective, efficient, and the hard work that our officers, our doctors, our policemen are putting in, day in and day out, to ensure that the citizens of Nagaland are served properly. And this, we will be continuing from uh, in the day to day, in the days to come. The, for instance, the DC Mokchong had a uh, uh, very good plan, a very good initiative, which I wanted to highlight, is that 
Today, if you look at and if you review the situation, in all the quarantine facilities, one of the major challenges because of the number of uh, uh, incoming, you know, the returns and managing, uh, you know, their day-to-day -day, uh, life in the quarantine centers. So sometimes it is difficult uh, for the administrative officers and for the district uh, administration to manage all that. And therefore, in large quarantine centers. They have decided that they will install CCTV to help them manage. For instance, this kind of interaction enables us and informs us from the ground on how to actually have and develop, uh, you know, not only uh, new SOPs but uh, new policies to address this issue.